Secret tunnels used by the resistance in Paris in World War II, the catacombs of Rome and the stormwater drains of Brisbane. To the cave clan, they're all equally enthralling. This secret group is devoted to exploring the tunnels found under our cities. And in Brisbane, that's a network running several kilometres. But what the clan is doing is not recommended and could be dangerous. Kathy McLeish went along to find out more about the state's underworld. State of Origin night, and it seems an entire state has ground to a stop to watch the action. You got your torch? You take this. Come on, chaps, let's go. But while league supporters on the surface get tribal, a clan of a different kind is emerging below. The Brisbane branch of the Cave Clan. While some of the clanners go to dramatic lengths to hide their identity, they're still happy to be our guides on this unofficial tour of the Brisbane Underground. This is the back cave. This runs for about two kilometres underneath and empties into the Brisbane River. There's some really old stonework uh, and lots of bats and lots of moths and creatures. Humans, we've never seen anybody else in here. It's the evidence of people. For these young urban explorers, the kilometres of tunnels beneath Brisbane City are a rich source of adventure. It's fun, it's interesting, it's something different to do. It's looking at stuff that nobody else knows is there. It's like the, the discovery, uh, just looking at stuff. You don't want to go and steal things, break things, you just want to go and have a look and see what's there. Why do you climb mountains? Some people do, some people just don't, are not interested, some people think you're crazy. There are just 20 members of the Brisbane branch of the Cave Clan, but the internet-based group says up to 200 clanners explore urban infrastructure under Australian cities and further afield. There's communication always between the, uh, you know, the Melbourne, Sydney and, and Brisbane groups. Uh, also, we're in touch with some people in Calgary and Ontario, in, in, um, in Canada, and, you know, French and English people. It's a thing that people just talk all over the world about. And the different branches of the clan have annual award events with categories including Best New Drain. We had an amusing situation uh, a few weeks ago when we were ex out exploring in, at the nice of the Melbourne Clanny Awards and we got regular SMS updates from the, uh, from the Clanny Awards as to who was winning the prizes. And occasionally there are rewards at the end of a long, wet, bug-infested journey through the tunnels. Well, this is the, uh, the biggest part of the tunnel. This has uh, been blasted out of the natural rock a really long time ago. I've read in various places it was done by convicts. I have no idea whether that's true or not. Uh, it continues for a couple of hundred metres and empties into the Brisbane River and is the most interesting part of the tunnel. During the day, the, the roof is entirely coated with bats. It just, it's, it's like a black carpet. It's really quite fascinating, but uh, now it's night, they're all feeding, so we don't get to see them right now. But the clanners stress this sort of exploration can be very dangerous and they won't reveal exactly where the tunnels run. You've got to use your common sense. The main thing is, uh, if the tunnel gets flooded, you're in a bit of trouble. That's never happened to me. It's never happened to anybody else that I've known. It's just a uh, common sense. You look at the, you look at the tides, you look at the weather, and you plan eventualities. Guys, it's State of Origin night. You haven't got anything better to do? Oh, no, we've been having fun, actually. <laughs>